if Wells Fargo's board had hoped John G. Stump's resignation on Wednesday and the appointment of Timothy J. Sloan as the new top executive would instantly quell the bank's numerous critics, they were mistaken. Within hours of the announcement, a member of Congress and other critics were already dismissing Mr. Sloan as the wrong man to make the big changes the bank needs to move past its current predicament over the creation of as many as two million phony accounts. While the Wells Fargo board emphasized that Mr. Sloan was ready to lead the company into the future, the bank's critics focused on a role that Mr. Sloan who has spent the last 29 years that Wells Fargo played in the bank's troubling past. I remain concerned that incoming CEO Tim Sloan is also culpable in the recent scandal, serving in a central role in the chain of command that ought to have stopped this misconduct from happening, Representative Maxine Waters, a California Democrat, said in a statement.